If you are a Gui Chou Day Master, be prepared to embrace your gift of uniqueness. And as for a famous Gui Chou Day Master, none more fitting than young American poet Amanda Gorman. Guys, I watched her deliver the inauguration poem and this was my face, okay? And I've literally lost count how often I rewatch her, her, her performance. Never fails to give me goosebumps. Young, intelligent, educated, and yes, unique. What a wonderful young woman. So welcome back as we continue our series exploring the 60 pillars. Thank you for watching. <clears throat> My name is Pauline Chang and I use Chinese metaphysics to empower, not to disempower. Okay, so what's the Gui Chou? Visualize as ice, so pretty, or snow. The Gui Chou or water ox uh, pillar is unique. Like how every snowflake is literally different and unique. <clears throat> okay, by this I mean the actual real literal snowflakes, okay, not the present day derogatory slang that describes a person who is overly sensitive. So, because of this ice, <clears throat> the Gui Chou Day Master will fit frequently come across as cold and a tiny bit standoffish, okay? You tend to keep people at arm's length, but beneath the ice queen or ice king exterior beats a warm and loving heart, only glimpsed by those fortunate enough to penetrate through your icy armor. Now, in the Gui Chou or water ox pillar, this Gui Day Master is rooted and sits on your resource star, is here, not the circle one, the here, this one, okay, which is represented by the metal element. When the overall conditions of the Ba Zi chart supports this formation, we see this as someone who is comfortable in their own skin, secure in their unique identity, a law unto themselves. Okay, the energy of this pillar begins with the hidden G earth influence star. Given the innate resources of the uh, G earth, the Kui Chou or Water Ox Day Master will usually be mavericks who prefer to learn things through your own efforts. From your point of view, the learning process is something deeply personal and should ideally happen unfettered by someone else's opinion. Okay? This G Earth influence star is also responsible for a large swath of your perfectionistic attitude. There is a strong drive for excellence here, something that you demand from yourself and from others. Okay? Your G Earth influence star then produces the Sin Metal resource star. Within this pillar, the Sin Metal manifests as your methodical and meticulous approach to life in general. You believe in accuracy. Everything must be just so. Okay? And lastly, the same metal produces or strengthens both the Kui Water Day Master and the Companion Element. This relationship further adds to your independent nature. You neither need nor expect much external help. Instead, you're willing to work hard to distinguish yourself and realize your ambitions for success. Okay. So what about the vulnerabilities? The same drive for excellence described in your strengths could also become your Achilles heel. You put unnecessary pressure on yourself and when things go, don't go as expected, you risk becoming a little rash, impetuous and perhaps overly critical. So that perfectionistic streak that serves you so well could also become a stumbling block in your journey to success. This usually happens when you cling stubbornly to an idea or an ideal, a daemon in your wish to prove everyone wrong. Okay, so finally, please be aware that the Kui Chou is also vulnerable to health issues. This happens when the Kui water melts. If this happens, if the Kui water melts into the G Earth and becomes contaminated. Typically, this manifests as potentially illnesses of the lungs like influenza and pneumonia. Okay, uh, do you guys know a uh, famed Chinese strategist from the Three Kingdoms era? His name was Zhuge Liang. Okay, so that it, there is a theory going around, just sharing, okay? There's a theory going around that Zhuge Liang was 
a Gui Chou Day Master. When he reached his fire luck pillar, the Kui water melted into the Ji earth, which accounted for his passing due to tuberculosis. Interesting theory, of course, but uh, unconfirmed. We have no way to check uh, Zhuge Liang's Zi chart. He was born in 181 AD, you know. So he may have simply worked himself to an early grave by overexertion, working desperately to keep the Shuhan dynasty intact with uh, a feckless emperor Liu San at the town, maybe. I don't know. So anyway. So how do you, okay, enough of the digression, I'm sorry. Say, so Gui Cho, how do you present that icy armor of yours can also be a vulnerability. The Gui Cho or Water Ox Day Master is a very private and reserved person. In uh, our modern day society that gravitates towards the noisy extrovert, this could be one of the reasons why you don't receive much external support. And speaking of support, if you find this content useful and valuable, how about hitting the like and subscribe button? Enough with the self-promotion, let's go. Okay, so Gui Chou but better. Recognizing the cold exterior you present to the world, becoming Gui Chou but better simply means allowing the world to see you for who you really are, that unique and intelligent person with a caring soul. You could also open yourself to the spiritual side of life by fostering a stronger connection with the universe and learning to trust your intuition you can still remain true to yourself but with the added advantage of a positive outlook with just that one small advantage you can create miracles in your life okay so that wraps things up for the Gui Chou. thanks for watching before you go a final caveat without the ability to see the full chart I must stress that the suggestions in this article are broad recommendations based on a single pillar, which is the day master only. Okay, are you a Kui Chou day master? You can plot your parts chart from the free plotter link in the description. If you've got a question, that's what the comments are for. Want to connect? My links uh, to the social, to my socials, to my website are also in the description. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.